In this video today, I'm going to show you how to take care of your Amazon stick. This is actually the video you're waiting for. Believe me, after this, your code is going to run 100% better. I must see video right now. Hey, how are we doing everyone? Once again, this is Dario from Media Box ENT. Like I said in the introduction, I'm going to show you two little programs. One, we're going to fix your buffer, okay? So if you have a buffer problem, we're going to take care of that. And the next one, we're going to do the maintenance, but a beautiful maintenance. You're going to run this once. You don't need to worry anymore. It's going to clean all the matter your package. It's going to clean your thumbnails and everything. Done once, and I promise after this, you're going to see how fast your Fire Stick is going to run. This runs beautiful in Kodi 17.1. If you need to learn how to install 17.1 Fire Stick, I'm going to leave a video right below, okay, where you can click on it, and I'm going to teach you how to install Kodi 17.1. I remind you, if you are, this is, I remind you, if this is the first time you are on a Media Box NT2, make sure you join the channel and hit the notification bell so you'll be the first to get my videos all right so let's take the problem i'm guessing you already have cody if not i will leave you a link you can install cody in this version so for this we're going to be running 17.1 so in my case i'm going to go into application I just just to show you i have cody 17.1 running here okay right away cody i'm going to run cody we're going to launch cody okay at this point okay so you're running cody 17 all right, we're going to go into configurations. Run and config, you're going to go into a file manager. You're going to hit source, okay, and you're going to type exactly what you see on the screen. All right, so that's what you need to type, HTTP, okay, repo.hackmycody.com. Okay, we're going to hit OK. Okay, and let's, right over here, we can type whatever you want. I'm going to type hack, okay, you can type whatever you want. Okay, so we hit okay and she gives us no errors if it's perfect no errors okay then we're going to go into the main menu pretty fast we're going to go all the way into the errands right in the errands we go to the box right there okay right in the box we're going to install from zip right from zip remember we call it hack we click hack over here we're going to go down into programs errands right in the program items we're going to go on system settings run system settings advanced setting program we click on it we wait we should have a screen coming up in a second on the right side okay that's it you see that on the top perfect so we're going to go and we're going to move right there so we go down right there easy advanced settings okay right there you're going to click you're going to edit the settings okay move down all the way to network settings Right in network settings, we're gonna go again into network. At this point, we're gonna change the buffer size. Okay, we're gonna click that disable, okay? So we're gonna delete that part, okay? So we're gonna delete, and we're gonna tap the number four right there. We click okay. All right, I know you guys are gonna be using a keyboard. You can use this remote, it takes a little longer, but the purpose is really to try to make it fast. So right over here, we hit the one. Okay, so we change the buffer size and the speed to read the way the are going to read the memory in the cache. We're going to delete that, right? It's exactly that one we need to type. Okay, so 41943030300. Okay, so we're going to hit OK and it's going to activate. Then right in the two dots, we're going to go up. All right, we're going to go up again. We need to go all the way up. Okay. And now we need to write the file. Okay, we're gonna write the XML file. We click write the file. Done, that's it. Now after this point, it's gonna take care of all your buffer issues. Okay, Life Take TV, if you play any movies in Cody, I don't say it will be 100%, but at least a 50% improvement, you're gonna see that. So that's one thing is mean to care. So the next one, okay, we're gonna go all the way back again. Okay, for this to take place, we need to reset it, but we're not gonna reset it now. When we finish, we reset, reset your code, reset your fire stick. Okay, and then that's it. When you restart it, will be the improved. Now, once again, we're gonna go into the into the wheel. Okay, run the wheel. 
we can edit the file manager all right sure right there we're gonna add source okay we hit enter there and we're gonna type this again All right, so that's what we need to type. Okay, HTTP, okay, to column forward slash forward slash fusion dot TV errands dot AG forward slash. So we're gonna hit okay. Then we type fusion there. Okay, get that whatever you want. Perfect, no error. Okay, so that means it's good. So now we go back into the main menu. Okay, we go back to the errands. Right, the errands, we go back to the box. Okay. And then we need to store it from a zip. Remember, we call it Fusion, right? So right there, okay. Begin here, okay. And you install that program. And we wait a little bit, and we get the notification. Okay, it takes a few seconds. It depends the connection of the internet. All right. That's it, right there. Indigo's install, okay. So there is no repo to install. We wait. We go into the main menu and the indigo we're going to click on it we're going to execute this and check this out we wait a little bit until gets the installation done okay and that's it now look this for a minute i explained to you everything all right as we see here we get the minus tool okay so on head to the minus tool you can clean the cache you can clean the package and you can clean the thumbnail you said dario what that means okay clean the package every time you get a download every time it is actually I download from Cori those updates you see in the top notification. That's a small package. It's going to have maybe in, a, in a, a few months you got 100. In a week you got plenty. So you need to delete. Turn else. Turn else. Every time you see the movie, every time you scan those and the movie no longer show you because it's an old movie, that's still safe in your computer. And the cache has with a memory. Every time it needs to write the memory, it writes in the cache, and then it actually writes in the memory. It goes back and forth, writes between the memory and the actual device. And that can get cloud a little bit. So the way to do it, you hit the auto run. Okay, you hit the auto run. It's going to clean everything there. But you don't want to do this, right? So like I explained to you, you want to do this automatically. Okay, let's do this. We go down to here, and we're going to execute this weekly maintenance. We hit over here. Hit yes. That's it. You don't need to worry anymore. That's it. Done. Once a week, whatever the day it is, you turn it on, it's well done for you. Do you want to run it like every time you start? You can do that too. Okay, every time you start maintenance, every time you start you, your fire stick will do that. But most of the fire stick is always on, so do it once a week. Now, this one will disable any malicious, any problems that are not good. Sometimes some items can have a problem. This will automatic block it for you. Okay, you can change repo health. You can click on it and see if any repo is having a problem. Okay, you can check if the source file is a problem. You can wipe errands. You can do a lot of things. There is like beyond a normal user will need to understand here. But the purpose of this video is you are a regular user. The only thing you care is plug this, watch a movie, use it for whatever you want. And you don't want to go into all this detail. So the only thing, just click auto maintenance. And that will be the only thing to do that. And it will clean all your package. We already fixed this P. So at this point, just go. Unplug the device, restart it once again, and you will notice how fast it is. Only the first time, only the first time you want to do the the auto maintenance run. Okay, you want to run the auto maintenance just for the first time because I'm sure there will be a lot of packages there. So do that. Then one you that that's done, just go to the weekly maintenance. That's it. The rest of the stuff is extra. You can play around. Again, if you need to learn how to install Cori, will leave a link below so you can guys see how to install Cori 17.1 new fire stick and that will be it make sure you become part of me at box ENT. leave a comment let me know what you think and i'll see you next time how you doing everybody once again this is dario from media box ent and oh mini no come on you gotta pay attention no, I was trying to, to, okay go ahead today is may Wait, so May 19? Yeah. Yes, May 19, 2017, show number 12.